Meg's face, distorted as King lets Charlotte attain highest honours and erases Lily title on coronation. It's been almost two months since the death of Queen Elizabeth II and King Charles III taking over the throne. In that time, people across the nation have started to view the head of royal family a bit differently, which is to say in an even more formal capacity than ever before. However, despite being the reigning monarch, it sounds as though Charles is also very much a family man, and in particular a doting grandfather. Royal fans have been reminiscing on some of the comments made by the king after his eldest son, Prince William, welcomed a daughter, Princess Charlotte, with the Princess of Wales, Catherine Middleton, back in 2015. The then Prince of Wales beamed with pride as he spoke to reporters days after William and Kate welcomed their baby girl and admitted to well-wishers, I was hoping for a girl. She's beautiful, he said. I was hoping for a granddaughter, someone to look after me when I'm very old. Earlier, speaking to US Weekly, a source close to Prince William and Kate Middleton admitted Charlotte is bright as a button. Prince William also appeared on Prince, Son and Heir, Charles at 70, and described his dad as being a brilliant grandfather, although he wished he could spend more time with his grandchildren. In addition, Charles added that he intends to spoil Charlotte Rotten. It comes as the King's coronation falls on the birthday of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's son, Archie. Archie, Charles' grandson, turns four on Saturday, May the 6th next year, when the King will be crowned amid great pageantry in Westminster Abbey. It has not yet been confirmed who will attend the ceremony, and whether or not Harry and Meghan will be among those invited, or whether they will be able to attend since it will be their eldest child's birthday. More than 2,000 people are set to fill the Abbey to see both Charles and Harry's stepmother, the Queen Consort, being crowned. However, if the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were to attend the coronation, they would be humiliated as there were speculations that their children would be officially stripped of their titles on this day. In a Vanity Fair article written by royal expert Katie Nicholl, she explains, Now that Charles is king, Harry and Meghan's children automatically become Prince Archie of Sussex and Princess Lilibet of Sussex. However, at the time of writing, the royal family's website still has them listed as Master Archie Harrison Mountbatten-Windsor, and Ms. Lilibet Mountbatten-Windsor. This means that even though the president says Archie and Lilibet automatically inherit the titles of prince and princess with the passing of Queen Elizabeth II, Harry and Meghan's children have yet to formally receive HRH designation, a status reserved for direct descendants of his or her royal highness. In addition, a source revealed the palace is discussing titles for the children. Charlotte is expected to take on the gig currently held by Prince Charles's sister and Princess Royal sooner, after King Charles is crowned. The title is customarily reserved for the eldest daughter of the monarch, and she will therefore only be eligible when Prince William takes the throne. Even then though, it may not apply straight. But Princess Charlotte may be given priority. For one, Princess Royal is not an automatically inherited title. It's bestowed at the king or queen's discretion. And secondly, it's lifelong. So Princess Anne, 68, will have to be, well, dead before Charlotte is eligible to assume the mantle. Regardless, we can expect Princess Charlotte's role within the royal family to be well and truly full-time. Based on the precedents set by her great-aunts and her uncle Prince Harry, it's likely a grown-up Charlotte will be dedicated to attending official engagements, public appearances, royal tours, and charity patronage. But of course, at the rate of change happening in the Windsor Mountbatten household, there's nothing set in stone. In contrast, a source close to the king says Archie and Lilibet's final titles will depend a lot on what happens in the coming months, particularly with Harry's book and the Sussex's Netflix TV show.